Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm going to show you how to play any MIDI file in 8-bit. Let's get started. First of all, we're going to make sure that we go to the Play Store and get an application called MIDI Clef. M-I-D-I -I space C-L-E-F. I'll put a link in the description. Top one, here we go. Yeah, there we go. I've installed it already. And go back to the home screen. Then you'll need a MIDI file to play with with the, the MIDI player. So I'll show you how to do that. Let's try. Um, can be any MIDI, but we'll just do this as an example. Um, right. It's a small world. There it is. Press the download button. Each site's different. Right. Now we're going to go to the home button. And all apps and find your file manager so in my case it's total commander and that's because it's the fastest one with the smallest file size there's no ads there's so many advantages to using that over some others but um, use whichever one you want so people use ES file manager people use the one from Zen UA for Asus and various other ones so uh, the steps might be a little bit different so then you go to your downloads folder sorry you go to your downloads folder and then you choose the MIDI that one because you've got to make sure that you've installed the, the MIDI player you go to the, the MIDI open right let me just push the volume down right I'm going to do it's you don't have to do that I saved it as 8 bit already because I've obviously had this MIDI before right we will um, I'll show you how to how it sounds as it is then I'll change it to 8 bit and show you how to do it Right, there you go. It's a few seconds. Now what you do is you select each track. And that brings up a side menu. Slide this list down. Synth lead, synth lead, synth lead. And then square wave. And do that for all the tracks. I happen to have chosen one with a few more tracks than I would have liked. But there you go. Then I'll play what it sounds like. Then I'll show you how sound fonts work and how to get them. Right, here we go. There we go, so we're closer to 8-bit than we were before, but if you're still not satisfied, there is the option of sound fonts. So, press the squares in the corner, you've got loads of different options here, we'll, we'll go through some of them, um, but we're going to go through sound fonts first. So, the sound fonts are here, so um, what we need to do, actually, I'll talk you through how to get them. Right. So the sound font option is here, but I'll show you how to download the sound font first. So, home button, and then I'll give you the link, but I've gone to Wooly SS, whichever, there we go, scroll down. Um, then, any of these, these fonts, the most favourite for me is the GX 
GXSCC GMO33. So it's a long winded name, but anyway, there we go. So then what you do, you go to where it's the zip file. That'll be interesting. Let's. I think it's that one. Press where it says zip. Download again. Well, you won't get prompted with that because I've downloaded it once, but I'm going to do it again anyway. Right, home button. Go back to your file manager. In this case, again, total commander. Go to your downloads folder. Um, open the sound font folder. Ah, sometimes you're given an option to extract. Well, mine's, you, you can long press and extract. Uh, perhaps Go. no right in that case open it up select unpack and edit well I want to move that so I get to long long press the icon and slide it up it'll be different for every file manager but it your goal is to extract the sound font and put it in a suitable location so I can talk you through it with Total Commander. What I've done, I've created a folder called Do Not Delete in Block Capitals and I put all the important stuff in there so that when the system is creating cache, it overwrite, it doesn't um you get all this all this stuff here well mine my stuff's in the do not delete folder because it's easier to have it in one place right once you've put it in a suitable location one where it won't get deleted you go back to midi clef and then if you've not already done so you pull out the side menu and click configure sound fonts press the plus button in the top right corner and it should look something similar to this so then you scroll to your folder where you've stored your, your uh, sound font in this case it's do not delete in block capitals and sound fonts it's different for every user I get that and then you select the sound font you wish to use so that in that case hit save and then back and then play again the MIDI file. So here's what it sounds like now. Right, so it is slightly different. You can, oh, you can alter what plays and what doesn't by selecting the squares there too. And you can tick to turn these on and off, but I'm not doing that. I'm just having it as it is. Um, you can link multiple sound fonts as well. If you go to the sound font configuration and press the plus button, then I can put this one back in. The one at the top is the one that's played through, so... I'm going to click save. I'm going to put this on at the moment and swap the sound fonts over and see if you can hear a difference. Yeah. So all I did there, side menu, configure sound fonts, Click and drag to swap the places. You click and drag the white squares there and swap the places like that. And the one at the top place. And then save and then that's how it sounds. There's some other features too. Um, let's cover... Because hmm. there's so many features, you see. <laughs> right, we go to... I'm going to put this back to the start just as a demo. I'm going to show you the sidebar here too. So you can change, oh, so the top right corner, sorry. 
you change the speed which is this stuff here this percentage line here to reset you hit that so if I put it 200% and then wanted to reset it back to default, you press that. There, some information here about the beats per minute, and that changes when you change the percentage. The key time and signature, key and time signature. Not 100% sure. I'm going to be honest, <laughs> you know. And the pitch is here. So that's down, it's lower, and reset, and up, and reset. There are also, you can sing along with the songs. Let's talk about extracting first. If you wanted to share your MIDI, you would convert it into a different format, and you would press share song. So all I've done, I've pressed the button or swiped from right to left to bring this menu up. So it's the menu we were playing with before and you hit share song and it takes a short amount of time to convert to a different format and then you can um, share it. Uh, it will load, there you go, and then I'm going to just hit Total Commander for the time being. Floating apps recording, so we don't want that. Let's just do that. There you go. There it's, it'll show up, and that's fine. Uh, you can save it to your music folder by pressing this button here, and it'll save it. Uh, you can show the lyrics if there's words with it. There isn't any in this one. Or you can show all, so you can see the the tracks and the words if there is words in MIDI some MIDI's have words with them not all of them then settings there's loads of different things here play on load so like when I first opened the MIDI out of Total Commander before it played the tune I didn't have to press the play button that's because of this setting at the top here the play on load so that's on because if you untick it, it won't play when it loads the song up first time. This next option is to um, stop playback after one song's finished. If it's unticked, if it's ticked, it'll play through the loop of songs in the folder. Then the karaoke section, I'll show you how that works in a second, but let's talk through these options here. So warn if no headphones. So it wants you to wear headphones, it's suggested. If you don't wear headphones, it's fine, it works, but it's not as good. But it's saying here, do you want it to tell you if you should wear headphones? Warn on delete it tells you when you're going to delete. It gives you a confirmation, yes or no, delete the... the uh, karaoke song, I'll show you how that works in a second normalise recorded audio, sometimes you sing louder than the song itself and uh, it sounds better if it's the same level and then similarly with dynamic amplification karaoke auto delay um, Sometimes there's a delay and you can adjust it here. Sharing and audio record audio encoding. <laughs> I nearly misread that. Audio share. So you can share when you share stuff, it gives you a um uh file quality. So I've got it at medium because it's fast fast enough and good enough quality. If you put high um high quality then it will be slower the encoding and low quality will be faster but less good so I just leave mine at minimum audio save in music folder that's quality again I set mine to high because I want it to be good and the last one is list all files that suggests that files that aren't compatible with the player can be shown if you want it to be but I don't 
I've put the, my MIDI folder in the uh, Do Not Delete folder and they're all MIDI and they're all compatible because that's the best way to be and I often have it music only because this works in the background basically so when you press play and then you press the home button or the back button whichever it'll still play you don't have to have the words on all the time you can create playlists so if you have tracks that you wish to iterate or repeat or test let's do that add no you can add oh yeah there we go so plus button in the top corner once you've named your playlist then you can delete it by long clicking and clicking delete it's feature filled it really is and the rest is fairly straightforward it tells you how to use it that tells you about the app that lets you get rid of the ads there aren't, there aren't actually that many ads that I've found so yeah I, I, I like this MIDI player and um, hopefully you look well too we need to talk about karaoke feature as well so before you press play on the MIDI you'll notice that there's this button here the microphone button when you press play it automatically plays the MIDI and it records your voice if you want it to and then when you've finished you press the um, the stop button that's where that microphone is at the moment and you can play it back with this play button and then you can come to the side menu and save it if you wish to um, it won't work as a demo at the moment because you can only have one application using the microphone at one time on the Android system and in this case it's the screen recorder that's using the mic so yeah so hopefully I haven't missed anything and hopefully you've found this video beneficial and um, thanks very much for taking the time to watch <laughs> take care goodbye